With YouTube demonetizing independent media, please consider becoming a patron today for just a dollar per month. Link below. Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater. And you know, back in 2009, we were treated, and I, and I say this legitimately, we were treated to an excellent adaptation of Alan Moore's Watchmen. Now, it wasn't loved by everyone, but I think in the spirit of what it tried to do, it, it, it was faithful enough. That's my take on it. You may disagree, and that's entirely fine. But you also have to at least agree that Zack Snyder knocked it out of the park on a visual level. I mean, just the aesthetics alone. I, I just to me, that's like that's his. That's just the the best thing he's made. I, I just to this day, I, I still stand by that. Been almost it's been almost ten years. Been nine years, and I think we have yet to see something that feels that kind of cinematic in its own right uh, for being a comic book adaptation. But that being said, we know HBO is working with Damon Lindelof in order to adapt The Watchmen for a television series, uh, to, for, for a cable series. And that is pretty cool, considering that the movie, while long in each and every one of its iterations, it's, it, it still had a lot of stuff truncated and a lot of stuff cut out of it. Now, what if we were able to get a lot of that or way more of that. Never mind that they've also got like the, the I think it's the prequel comic before Watchmen, which has been well received, uh, if I recall correctly on that one. And so, yeah, but <laughs> apparently this movie may not be as much or the show may not be as much of an adaptation uh, as we as we think, because uh, Lindelof is, is, is a little cryptic in, in regards to what to expect. But then again, it's Lindelof. So it's always cryptic in what to expect, but man, I'm just, yeah, let's take a look here. So according to uh, this article on uh, Heroic Hollywood, HBO's The Watchmen won't be a direct adaptation of Moore's comic, which is both understandable, right? But at the same time, not. We're living in an age where if it's all about recreating elements from the 1980s, that's not hard to do. We do this kind of stuff all the time. Movies always are period pieces set in that time era. Zack Snyder did it nine years ago. What would be the problem here? Well, we don't quite know, but let's take a look here at a quote. He says, adapting may be the right word. At the end of the day, I wouldn't call Noah Hawley's version of Fargo an adaptation because the movie exists inside of his world. And so everything that happened in the movie Fargo, it does precede the television show Fargo. So, you know, they may find a bag of money in the first season and you're like, oh, that came from the movie. But it's also Noah pulling in from other areas of the Coen Brothers canon. So it invokes Lebowski and it's also his own thing. OK, I get that. I do. I, un I, I get it. He's saying it's kind of like it's the Watchmen, but it's not the Watchmen. It's not going to be that right it's not, it's not going to be the story of, of, of them. It's going to be a story where maybe what happened in the 1980s happened in the 1980s, that there are some references uh, to the original story, but it's not a direct adaptation. So obviously, uh, you know, Rorschach and the comedian are probably going to be dead, uh, you know, and, and everything else. Uh, Silk Spectre is going to be gone. I mean, you know, who knows? Uh, uh, <laughs> Dr. Manhattan is probably going to end up still being out somewhere in space, but he'll probably make an appearance. I, I you know, I, I don't know what they plan on doing. Um, but, uh, he did say that he, that, uh, that Alan Moore's open aversion to the idea of translating Watchmen for the screen is one reason why he wants to avoid directly adapting the comic saying, I think it's widely known that Alan Moore does not want Watchmen to be adapted. So I'm playing a bit of a game of semantics here and saying, I'm not adapting Watchmen. So maybe it's it's not a direct adaptation, but it's 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 enough of the core element of the story in order to be able to pay homage to what Moore did without directly copying what Moore did. And we all know Moore does hate adaptations. He hated V for Vendetta. He didn't care for the movie Watchmen. We 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 get that. And there are purists out there that clearly back Moore's version of things and do not like the film adaptations. But then you get people like me that yeah have read them and like them, but still freaking love V for Vendetta and Watchmen. I think they're both fantastic movies. And so getting an adaptation that I think is, is, is expands out that world while still telling that kind of story, I think would be pretty cool. But the Fargo thing, I guess it makes sense if he's trying to keep it in the same 
the confines of, of what the idea original premise maybe was uh, expanding upon that down the road. And, you know, there's, I think a rumor going around right now where it's going to be set in like modern day or, or not in the 1980s. And that could be one of the things, whereas, you know, we have the, you know, kind of the original story the original Watchmen from way back in the day. And then it's, jumps to the 80s with with the, with you know the the new watchmen and, and it, it could be the next iteration of that it could be the next iteration of what happens post uh osmandius's plan you know and who knows if they're going to do the whole space squid thing whatever you want to call it uh you know or if they're going to stick with what the movie did if they're going to adapt based upon the film now that would be interesting if they decided to adapt uh, more of a sequel story to the movie versus to the comic itself. And that could be what he's up to, but he doesn't want to come out and say it right now. And I only say this because HBO is a Time Warner company. Warner Brothers made Watchmen. They currently have the rights to that. DC puts out the comic. We So it's all contained within the Warner's world. And, you know, they've kind of dabbled in the comics of, of jumping over into the DC comic world, you know, with Batman and whatnot. So we, we know that exists. So maybe he's working on trying to adapt this as a way of tying it into the film, making this more of a sequel series, uh, which would make more sense if that is exactly what Lindelof is up to. But at the same time, it's Lindelof. And I just can't help but think back to Alien, to Prometheus and uh, World War Z's third act, which was okay, but took away the whole suspense from the movie, I feel, uh, you know, uh, took away from the World War aspect of it, then brought it into a very kind of like, you know, like very horror-ish type movie. So there there are, there are clearly problems with Lindelof. I mean, look, look at look at Leftover. Season one didn't do very well. Critically, okay, fans seem to get into it, but season two and season three apparently got really, really, really good. Um, so Lindelof takes a little bit of time to maybe get his motor running, and here he'll have the time to expand out from that. So I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I just uh, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. They've ordered a pilot um, with any luck. It will be decent with any luck. It will be it will be fun with any luck. It will be good with any luck. But I pose it to you. Is it possible to adapt in any form the Watchmen and get it right? Is it is it possible that this will be a continuation from the 2009 Zack Snyder film? Will this be an adaptation from the comic book? Where do you think Lindelof is going to take this? These are things I'm curious to know. Let me know in the comments. My name is, of course, Matt Jarbo. This has been Three Buck Theater. I will talk to you guys later. Have yourself a fantastic day. If you haven't already, thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, and support the channel on Patreon. Best way to do so right now. And if you want to see more content from me, I hope you do. 